Hello, I'm Isa Boyce Jackson and today on Crazy Zaxter, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very own WAMP server. So, what does WAMP stand for? Well, it stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. There's also a version for Linux which is called LAMP and obviously the L stands for Linux instead of the M for Windows, um, the W for Windows, sorry. So, in this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to get the home server that cannot be accessed from outside your router. I'll do a video on that sometime later, but I'm not doing that exactly today. Also, um, that's pretty much it. So after this quick break, we'll get started with the tutorial. WAMP server is, but where can you get it from? Well, you need to head over to WAMPserver.com, <coughs> select the English tab, go to Downloads, and then click on Download WAMP Server 2.0 I or it will be different with every different version that is that's released. So just click on Download and download WAMP. So. Now I'm just going to quickly cut to after the installation. So, now it's installed, you should see an icon in your system tray. If not, you can always reopen it by clicking on the WAMP server icon on your desktop. So, now that you've installed it and it's there, you need to click on it and click put online. This will now put your server online, so it should now be up and running. To test it, open up your browser. and type in the address bar localhost this should load up your server's home page so this is the server's home page it's basic it's set for everyone so that's it now, now click on the icon again and go to www directory, which is here. This will open up a page with your index.php, which is the page you saw, and index.html. Open this up and, okay, for some people it may not be there. Um, it wasn't there for me last time I installed this program. So what you have to do, you have to open up a new text document in this folder. But if it's there, then that's good. So open it up, and you need to start doing some basic HTML coding. So, for example, you need to do the basic HTML codings of HTML. And or slash HTML. Then in this you can put header and forward slash header. And also body. Now, in a header you're going to want to put a name. Uh, for me, I'm going to put Crazy Zax the server. And in the body, you can start putting certain things. So let's put a title on the page. So do keep a line, then equals quotation center. Now type whatever you want to be in there. Um, you 
me crazy Zach still server and end it with slash p. Now let's put in say a new power graph and I'm going to put a link so I'm going to do a h r e f equals rotation http forward slash forward slash um www.crazyzaxter.co.uk quotation close now we need to end that by putting forward slash a and that's your basic page so click file save as and save it as all files and replace it so um, htm it needs to be saved as so htm all files save so you can now delete this and delete the index.php file. So now, when you go to your browser and type in localhost, it will come up with the page you just created using HTML coding. Like so. So, now that you've done that, open up the www directory again, and let's create a file, say, something like, uh, I don't know, pictures. So, I've created the file pictures, and I'm going to open up and place in a picture. So. Let's just go with this picture. Oops. And I'll just drag and drop it in there. So now, when I open up my browser, type in localhost forward slash pictures. Oops. Forward slash pictures forward slash ytbg hit enter I forgot to put the .jpg on and this is that picture so that's how you can get pictures onto there so now I'm going to close it all down and open up command prompt now I've got a shortcut on my page, but you can go to Start Accessories, uh, Start All Programs Accessories Command Prompt. So, now that command prompt is opened up, I'm going to type in ipconfig, and this will give me all the IP addresses. Now, the one I want is IPv4 address. So, I'm going to go to my internet again and type in that IP address which is open up and here we go this is my server's home page so that's how to set up your home server Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Please remember to check out my website www.crazyzaxter.co.uk where there's a forum so you can um, check all the other tutorials from other members. You can also check up my other tutorials and you can even ask me questions and watch my live show. Also, my social network, zaxter.ning.com. It's only just been set up and I need to start getting as many people on there as possible. The link will be in the sidebar along with my Crazy Zaxter link.
Now, some of the features on that social network are great, like being able to change your homepage theme. There's a forum on there as well, and you can also update your status onto Twitter. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!